Hi everyone, this is Mr Neil Writer, Consultant Audiologist and Director of Clearwax. Thank you for joining me in another demonstration video of our recently developed Waxscope. Uh, the Waxscope is due to be launched in the next four to six weeks tentatively I say, but we're working hard with the manufacturing and with all the, all the other regulatory um, items that go with a medical device. So we have a patient here tended with a, a really large hard ball of uh, dry earwax and they have a very narrow ear canal so I'm using our smallest speculi on the wax scope here which is a, a 3.5 millimeter and uh, possibly these are the cases where some people would struggle with our flagship product the eye clear scope the endoscope now once you've mastered the skill uh, of using the eye clear scope in terms of view there's nothing that really can compete uh, with the view provided by the eye clear scope endoscope but um, some people do find it hard to use the eye scope, and this is what led me to develop the wax scope. So the wax scope, uh, it comes with different specular attachments at different sizes. So as I said, this is the 3.5 millimeter, and we've got a 4.25, which is probably gonna be the normal standard size, and then a five millimeter and a 5.75. And with an endoscope, with the eye scope, you're having to use the endoscope to dilate, straighten, and widen the ear canal, while sim simultaneously using your dominant hand. Um, to hold the earwax removal tool to extract the earwax and that requires a high level of bilateral coordination and integration so the wax gate uh, with the specular the specular opens up the ear for you already so it's a bit like when you're already put if you're performing earwax removal using head loops or an ENT microscope um, the specular actually the dynamics the shape of it the architecture is similar to your standard share or rosin um, or tamarkin Speculus, it has a flared tip, so it prevents you from over inserting, but it just helps to widen the ear canal. So it's a lot more user friendly, and that's why I'm really excited by the wax gate because I think it's going to be more accessible to many more healthcare professionals, which in turn will improve the general provision of earwax removal to the general public, not only in the UK, but we're hoping all around the world. And we've had such a great response to uh, the wax gate so far, we've had so many people. Uh, contact us to be added to our mailing list. So if, you, if you're wanting yourself to be added to our mailing list, please email info at clearwax.co.uk. So I'm just going to go back to this particular case. We've been trying to tease this wax out. It's really hard and the entrance is really narrow. So despite my best efforts at stretching the ear canal open, it's still too large a plug. And in these, uh, and it's actually lodged as well, I should uh, mention. You can probably see in the distance uh, beyond further into the ear canal that wax plug does extend all the way. I could be suctioning this all day, putting drops all day, but we just have to use a hook. So what's great about the wax scope is that it's accessible to all ENT micro, um, micro instruments. So you can see how I'm just inserting the St. Bart's ear hook. I'm just manipulating this plug of wax and slowly but surely bringing it forwards. So we're now just gonna dilate this patient in. You can just see how it's small and narrow and constricted it is, but we've got a beautiful view of the eardrum there. You can see the handle of malleus. And the patient can hear significantly better. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. And as mentioned, if you are interested in the wax cake, please do register your interest by emailing info at clearwax.co.uk. Thank you.